Guess who's back? Back again. Mikey's back. Tell a friend. Hey everybody, here with another video for you guys today. And today we're going to be looking at my custom arcade one-up Daytona cabinet. Yep, that's right. My custom arcade one-up cabinet. But before I go any further, let me just say, if you like this video or any other videos on my channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll be getting into my custom arcade one-up Daytona USA cabinet after my intro coming in here now. And here it is, my uh, custom cabinet uh, that I got the graphics from, from Arcade Graphics. Uh, they did a great job, as they always do, providing uh, great uh, skins for us Arcade 1UP modders out there. You can just uh, see some of the things that I did here with uh, some of the graphics. And as for the how the steering wheel is connected, it is with this uh, official Microsoft uh, Xbox 360 dongle that I have plugged into the PC because, uh, yes, there is a PC that is in this machine running everything. And I actually have uh, the monitor that came with the PC that I installed in here myself. Uh, that was a heck of a thing doing that, but uh, I got her done. And I actually have the PC speakers that I mounted up here on top of the cabinet. So I can turn the volume up or down and you can see the mouse that I got kind of hidden up here. Because there is a PC in here, I do need a mouse from time to time. And uh, these buttons here, uh, this the S is start, exit menu and then the blink one is uh, administrator because I actually have an X-Arcade PCB uh, in here connected to the PC as well because I wanted to install some extra buttons and everything just to uh, be able to make it seem as much like a arcade as possible. And you can see the front panel here. We had to get a little bit creative with uh, the, the artwork here. You can see uh, my wife actually. She uh, she's the one that installed it, and she did a great job. And you know uh, the way she curved it over on top of there to really you know make it seem seamless was pretty neat. So it's almost like we have a a custom riser. And then here's the actual PC that's inside it. It's an old Dell Dimensions. Uh, desktop computer that I've had for forever and a day and it's such a big tower that the it actually I can set the steering wheel just right on top of it and it just fits in there just great eventually I plan on upgrading this whole unit to a Dell Optiplex with a GT 1030 uh, GPU installed in it which is what I have in that cabinet there and you can see here is where I did uh, got a little bit more creative and and bent uh, this uh, over here to help you know hide where the existing control panel was, and uh, and this is where the control panel graphic that we got from Arcade One Up where we decided to use with it. And now let's uh, take a look at the some gameplay here. And you can see I have it all configured, you know as as close to as official as I can make it. You see, you step on the pedals just like you're supposed to on the arcade. See, I got the buttons to color coordinated to change the view just like you're supposed to in the actual arcade because again I wanted it to be as authentic and you know seamless as possible 
And let me just say uh, that this cabinet actually started out as an Asteroids cabinet that I got for 50 bucks on clearance a uh, long time ago, back during the Wave 1 days. And I've had it this whole time. As you can see, Brett's the exit, and we're back out to the menu. You can see this, uh, this, the back button on that makes things go back. And here I had to actually mute things because I actually have a Guns N' Roses song, You Could Be Mine, famous from Terminator 2, plays on his cabinet as like my menu. And I just have a little video playing because I did, this is, has the Mala front end on it because it was the only front end that I could get to work on such an old uh, desktop PC. Because uh, this this PC really only has Windows XP on it. It's very it's very archaic by today's standards, but you know it gets the job done, and you know it allows me to play Daytona USA, which was my main point. And you know I'm just gonna ride this PC out till it dies. And right now on here I got Chase HQ, Checkered Flag, Formula One Grand Prix, Formula One Grand Prix Two, Final Lap. Final Lap 3, uh, a couple, another version of Final Lap 3, Formula 1, GP Rider, Hot Chase, Hydra, Outrun, Outrunners, Power Drift, Race Driving, Racing Beat, Rad Mobile, Rad Racers, Road Blaster, Spy Hunter 2 and Top Speed. And I still have all my original uh, games on here because this was my first uh, ma a main PC, which I'll link a video here in case you're interested and want to hear more about this old machine. And then on this one, these are the Sega games. I got Sega Rally Championship and Daytona USA. And then uh, I have all these other console games, and some of them play surprisingly well. So on the Nintendo, we have, you know, Al Hunter Jr. Racing, RC Pro M1 and 2, Spy Hunter, and Super Spy Hunter. They play decent with the, the steering wheel. And then uh, on the Game Boy, I just have uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. And, you know, it, it plays decent with the steering wheel as well. Then the Super Nintendo have F Zero, Lamborghini American Challenge, Off Road, Rock and Roll Racing, Super Mario Kart, Top Gear, Top Gear Two, and then the Nintendo 64. Outside of the arcade games, these ones are my favorite ones that I have on here. A uh, Beetle Adventure Racing, California Speed. Cruising USA, Cruising World, Diddy Kong Racing, F1 World Grand Prix, F Zero X, F1 Pole Position 64, Mario Kart 64, NASCAR 2000, Off Road Challenge, Ridge Racer 64. San Francisco Rush, San Francisco Rush 2049. And again, this, the Nintendo 64 games were on really well with the steering wheel. And then uh, Turbo Graphics 16 games. I got Chase HQ, Super Monaco, Grand Prix, and World Grand Prix. I know that was a Sega Master System, excuse me. And then Sega Genesis. Race Driving. Road Rash, Road Rash 2, Test Drive 2, and Virtual Racing Deluxe. And that's actually the 32X version of uh, Virtual Racing. And then uh, finally I have the Sony PlayStation. And some of these games run halfway decent. Some of them I wish ran a little bit better. Uh, Dukes of Hazard, Andretti Racing Driver, Gran Turismo 1 and 2, NASCAR 99, Need for Speed High Stakes, Need for Speed 2, 
Need for Speed 3, Hot Pursuit, Ridge Racer, San Francisco Rush Extreme Racing, Test Drive 6, and Test Drive Off-Road. Again, the, some of the PlayStation games run better than others. And so here we go. We got some Chase HQ playing. Because uh, I've noticed that some people really like this game. It tends to be a pretty popular one amongst the retro arcade crowd. And this one plays really well on here as well. All these uh, old arcade games play great on here. It's really only some of the console games that can be a little iffy. But as I said, the Nintendo 64 games run great. So they're besides the arcade, they're, they're my go-to games to play on here. And again, I, I will eventually upgrade this PC because I'd really like to do some more modern games on here as well. I think that would really bring things home for this cabinet. But I'm just going to keep riding this uh, PC until she dies. Because, I mean, it's getting the job done and I'm happy. But that is my video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Continue to watch Mikey J Productions for future content, arcade-related. Uh, and take care, everybody. Have a great day.